today I'm going to give you three ways to reduce your car insurance bill. Let's go. Hi, it's Irene and oh, today is a good video. This is going to be three relatively easy ways for you to decrease your car insurance bill by maybe 15%. So no, that does not mean you're switching to Geico. I'll explain. Back in April, my defensive driving uh, course credits had expired. So that means I was no longer getting the benefit of that 10% discount off of my insurance from the previous time. But unfortunately, I knew it was coming up, but I never took the time out to retake the course. So when my insurance renewed in June, it went up a little bit, but it tends to always go up in the summer months. So I didn't really pay much attention to it. But then I decided I wanted to really decrease my recurring expenses as much as possible. So I spent, hold on, $24, $23.95 on an online defensive driving course, which New York was allowing, especially since we were in a pandemic. So I took the six hour course, I passed it with flying colors, and I now qualified to take off that 10% yet again. So that is the first thing I did. But you can't just do it and it's done automatically. You have to wait a couple of days for the defensive driving company to send it to the DMV and to send you your certificate. Once you have that certificate, you can call up your car insurance company. I just took a picture of it and they sent me an email to email it to, sent it to them while I was on the phone and they applied my credit right away. So I got off $111.30 off my insurance over a six month period. That doesn't seem like a lot, but let's keep moving. The second thing you should do is you should get an updated credit report. If you're someone who has kind of eh, kind of credit, but you're working on getting it better, getting that score higher and higher, one thing you can do is request a credit update. My credit score has gone up significantly, but I did not do this this time. I'm actually waiting because I suspect it's going to go up again in a couple of months but you can request a credit update where they will check your credit report, see that your score is higher, your credit is higher, and that will help drop your rates. Now, the third thing I did, and I suggest that you all do, is really go through your bills. One of the things I didn't realize is I was causing myself to be spending a lot more money. Well, let me not say, not a lot, but some more money. What I mean by that is I have myself on auto pay so my bill is automatically paid, but it's automatically paid from my debit card. So I was paying $5 extra per month to have it auto pay from my debit card. When I called the reps, Geico customer service is amazingly awesome. I love them. And I explained to her that my bill seemed to be about $30 higher than it was stated on the premium. She explained to me that I'm paying that $5 a month fee. I wasn't even aware of it, don't even know how, I didn't realize it. So what I did was I switched my auto pay to checking instead of my debit card. So now I only pay a $1 transaction fee every time I pay. So instead of paying $30 over six months, I'm only paying $6 over six months. So with everything I did, I was able to drop my insurance by $135.30. For the year, that's $270.60. That's not a huge amount, but that's less you're giving to someone else and more you can either put in your IRA or your 401k or an online savings or whatever it is you want to do with it. It's now your money. Now I have now $135.30 over the next six months extra that I can maybe put into God knows what. But that's easy. All of these things I just said to you are really easy. And you can save what I saved or even more, okay? Like I said, I did not do the credit check yet. I'm gonna probably do that 
in October. My thing renews the end of November. So I'll probably wait till my next um, renewal for my insurance policy. But definitely try these things. Take a look at your bill. See if there's anything you can save on. Okay? So that's all I've got for you today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Short and to the point. Let me know what you think of these tips. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button because I have more money saving tips coming up. And if you didn't, you can hit the dislike button. That's perfectly fine. And I will catch you guys what all on the rebound next time. Peace out.